Good morning and all, welcome to Johnny Group. Yeah, it's second day. Wait. Foggy, I'll show you to the sea there. Yeah, foggy. Heard the fog on go off a couple of times. The sum up, out, get some fresh air. On a grot, on towards the weather will change eventually. But not so good a start to the day with this weather. There's a bit of rain there. I thought I'd gone off last night, but it's come back on again this morning. So I must admit they have done up John Groats a bit better than the last time I was here. Uh, Wait in the fish and chip van. Got fish and chips last night to the meat so after a long drive it's a lot better than trying to make things. But all good, all good. There is a camper van, we speed park paid two pounds for the parking. But there is a camper van spot over there. Uh, I wouldn't like to think but the, the price of that one. It's all good. We're good, we're getting ready to go. I think I've got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee before we go. It's time to eat and we'll head. There's no hurry today because we're it's just a short journey. So, catch you later. Bye. This is Gills Bay. You can just see the fog starting to lift a bit, a bit of land there. Still a bit of drizzly rain though. We missed the turn off or done it ahead because it's just a small sign. We thought we'd doing something bigger, but should have said five mile off the main drag. Five and a quarter or something miles off the big main road, yeah. But yeah, it's a, a very narrow road all the way along. Obviously heading right for the coast. This is a road to turn ahead, like we said, the first bit. Uh, what we we'll see is there's plenty of kind of off the road parking spots if you want to camp here. Although we stay at Johnny Road, the 
this wee, wee bits here and there along to the road to Dunnett Head that you can fill up to the pool in while camp. Quite surprising that quite a, the, the amount that was there. There's quite a few that were passed already parked up. They're saying that we're going towards Dunnett Head. It doesn't look like we're really seeing it anyway. <laughs> Into the fog. Into the speed wipers on. Of course, we're going out into the most northern, northerly point now, so... Just taking my time here because... Uh, now we're going off the road here. Water going to one side and a wee kind of field ditch on the other side. Of course. Uh, point going fast. We've already made a couple of cars already this morning, even though it's still early. Yeah, lights are on, but not make that. They won't make any difference at all. There's somebody parked on there, I think, yeah. is it? Oh my goodness! Well, not just no, I'm not there, thanks. Oh, I don't like this fog. Somebody else parked up. Yep, here's another one. Okay. All wee bits like that, just off the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's rabbits. But what way do you go? No, no vehicles except for access or that way. Cattle grab. I don't know if we're going to see anything anyway. But we can see we've been here. We've <laughs> done it here, we've seen the fall. Was <laughs> that Scott over here? <laughs> We'll go out and have a wee look about it anyway and see what's going on. So we're at Dunnethead. Just through there you can see the lighthouse. Uh, well, just about see the lighthouse. Just giving you all some of the birds and that kind of stuff. Here we are. That's all right, yeah. We'll be still walking. Yeah. So we'll go down to see, let's see if we can see the water. Maybe I'll clear by the time we get there. Fall off a few hundred yards. No drones. Nesting birds, no drones. No. So we're at the viewpoint. As you can see, it is misty. Uh, you can see a bit of water down there, not very really much, but you can see some. It's a shame because I thought we might have got, the weather forecast was supposed to be no bad, but obviously in Scotland, weather forecast is not something you go by. Uh, it changes hour to hour at times. Right. There's a lighthouse just as we come round to here, there we go, there's a lighthouse right next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. Often. Yeah, the puffin. Debbie's been desperate to see a puffin for years. So that's another one off our bucket list. The puffin. That'll save me money taking her a trip to the islands in the fourth. I've got a video. So Debbie's now got her puffin. Right, hang on. My cheery grin. <laughs> so quite close as well, which is a uh, surprise. Uh, you know. Yeah. So that's all good. One puffin tick. There it is flying. That's a puffin. Puffin's away that way. There's another puffin. So all good. Yeah. 
That is coming in there. Is that? No, that is, that is. Puffins, lots of puffins. Mm -hmm. There's puffins will be along in that wee cliff there. Yes, see. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh, his wee legs go like that. How does his wee legs go? In the back of that. <laughs> and you see that again? Go on, let's see it. Can we just right, see yeah. you know what I do? <laughs> no. Anyway, puffins off. Just coming out and done it, going north east from the east coast round. And this view has just. Just coming out and done it, just now. Yes. And look at the view. This oh my east. goodness, that I beach. I don't know if you could surf it there. Well, you could probably surf it, but very cold. Uh, well, that's wow, cool. look at that beach. Hope mm -hmm. you can see it well on this Maybe camera. Yeah, we're there. going to find somewhere that we can stop in. Sure there, yeah. Turn around and go back. There is a bit we can get to. Obviously, a big site, a big campsite or something in here. So, anyway, there's a campsite, the other side they've done it, and they road through Shea. Done it, Bay. Bay. Done it, Bay, Caravan Motorhome Club. Oh, it's a Caravan Motorhome Club. Oh, right. You have to be in a club to get there. Yeah, probably. But what a view for if you were staying there. Yeah. Right, we need time to see if we can. Beautiful. Oh, this is us. Nice wee car park here just after I've done it. Right, let's see the houses here. And then we come across the wee big beach here. Look at that. If it had been sunny, that would have looked like the Bahamas. Stone at Melvick, but we've came through Melvick, so we must have missed it somewhere. Must have missed it. Signposts in Musselman is really poor for a lot of stuff. The signposts are rubbish. I need a bit of better signposts. Oh, the geese! Think. They were sitting on the side of the road. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Baby ones too. Uh, so signposts are pretty poor. Yeah. But we're still just dodging away, and we stop where we can. See what we can find really <laughs> we stop at viewpoints, but we can't see anything because of the fog. Know, it's, it's not too cold. I mean, it's saying it's 10 degrees, yeah. but it's not cold. It did clear a wee bit, and then as we drove on, it got worse. Oh, there's some cows on the road. Yeah, watch the cows. Watch Woo! the cows. I watch the animal sheep, cows, everything on these roads. <laughs> so be aware of don't be fleeing. You might come around and meet a cow right in the middle of the road. Yeah, so there's not much to see or anything, just sort of let you see what the, the, the weather road. conditions and everything on the roads were like. But I think the next stop is 
Betty Hill, I think. Betty's Hill. We'll see. Right, we'll go park there just a wee parking spot. And the reason we parked is we've we've come away down for that road down there. Yeah, there through the house you because know, we're heading to the wee beach over here. So you can see there's a wee okay as you can see the now there's a wee crossing point. I don't know how we if we can get down so we'll go for a wander. So here we go. So hopefully get some more views when we get there. See you in a bit. And here we are at Far Breach eh, Far Breach. Beach, far beach is F A double R beach, far beach. Listen to the waves. Debbie couldn't resist it. She needs a paddle. So she's going for a paddle. Be damn cold in there, but she's wanting a paddle. I think what we can see is, is it cold? <laughs> yeah, definitely can see it's cold. And this will just fold in here. This is now we're coming to the nice beaches. Look at that water. I don't know if you can see it well. Imagine being aware of that island over there. It's got the same private beach. Oh, what's on the world? Beautiful beaches, yeah. Can't really see them much. Although it's a one track road here, we'll keep my eyes on the road. There seems to be a lot of parking spaces you can, can get into the and stuff like that. Just Although you shouldn't be parking on any kind of passing place. Towns 
just all beautiful beaches to the right hand side Dave when you're going along, it's gorgeous. We'll be coming to them just shortly, in fact this opening cover up, we'll be coming to them because there's big beaches with zip lines and stuff like that, that along near Sango Tanks, Kinsuke and stuff like that. Well, I did before all these. There's another parking spot, parking spot that was normally parking spot. Just that yeah. road, yeah. one suitable for caravans. Yeah. Loads of areas we've seen on the north road 500 that you could wild camp overnight. As long as you're polite and courteous to anybody, you leave know. Your rubbish, leave your rubbish lying about. Seems to be quite a few spots. We've heard people saying they couldn't find spots, but to be honest, I don't think we were a struggle. No. We're having two camp, two, two nights while camping and two nights at a campsite. But I think easily we could have done the whole thing, done the whole thing while camping. Just the like to go and get a shower. Uh, so booked into a campsite, get a shower. And the, the last night we booked into Pug's Road uh, to kind of get ready and finish before travelling home the next day. Empty the waste of the toilet and everything. We eat out last night. <laughs> Everywhere in French of Arm have been able to get toilets in places, you know. If you look for them, they're, they're not too bad, they're not too bad, they're not too bad. Saying that's handy having your own the toilet. Definitely. That's a during the night if you need it. Yeah, Here we are in Tong. Tong. Oh, you can't really oh. see, it's rather misty and things, but maybe if we can find somewhere along here we'll park it. Take the air pictures. It's beautiful. It's a bit bumpy the roads. Yeah, excuse the jumpy, jumpy photos, videos. Saying that, I mean, yeah, we'll better wait till they get to the other beaches. It's nice, but I've got some pictures of the other the beach we just seen and we're high on a higher road so we're just going along now. I'm not sure what it's called, so we'll need to Google that and we can put it in. Yeah, it was very heavy rain during the night last night. I recorded some of it. Um, but it was quite, I quite liked it. It was quite therapeutic.
Yep, well, it's angle sand now. And uh, this is our view. There's the van there. And if you just span round, we're right on the beach. And it's there. This is our site. We'll do some more exploring in a wee while, but I'm going for a shower first.